Hello people of YouTube! My name's Maria and I'm gonna do a video today on dyeing my hair with L'Oreal Paris Fiera Hyper Platinum for the first time. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Um, as you can see, my hair is very, very dark. This is my natural color up here. I used to be blonde. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter down here. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna turn out. Um, but let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna section our hair into four parts. This is what I read online. So hopefully it helps out a little bit. to put on my hair. I mixed up two boxes of these. My hair is incredibly thick and I, every time I've dyed my hair from a box I've usually had to use two even though my hair is not really that long. It's just very thick so it doesn't like to you know, absorb everything. Um, okay so we're gonna start. Honestly really nervous about doing this because I've never dyed my whole hair completely before. The last time I did it it was with Highlights. Okay. Here we go. Open. I'm just gonna make sure everything is really drenched. Because you want to make sure that there's no spotting. That's not a fun thing to do. Just to realize that you have a huge black spot on your head after you just bleached your head. So it's been about 30 minutes and it's kind of starting to lift already as you can see the difference. Um, and now I'm going to start doing my roots. This will all be fun. Actually, we'll show you before I rinse it what it looks like and then we'll go from there. All right, so it's been on my roots for about 30 minutes um, on top of the 30 minutes that it was on before. 
on the rest of my head. So I wrapped it and it feels really hot. <laughs> um, so we're gonna unwrap it and kind of see what's going on. Oh boy. All right, so you can see that. I mean, it looks like it lifted quite a bit, um, especially in my roots area. I just hope that it's even. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like before I rinse everything out and I put the toner conditioner in. Um, so I guess we're gonna do that now and then I'll show you what it's like after. Okay. This was a complete fail. Um, as you can see, it's really light up there, and for some reason it just didn't take in some spaces, but um, I'm gonna try and tone it to try and get some of this orangeness out of it at some point. Um, but if it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go and dye my hair back to its original color. Um, so that's <laughs> basically it. Uh, if you have really dark hair like me, it's probably going to turn out like this. You're going to be a redhead. It's not going to make you blonde. I had, I was very skeptical about it lifting, you know, eight shades. I didn't, I didn't think that was a good thing, but um, I figured I'd try it anyway. So yeah, this is it. I'm going to have to walk around like this for a little while because I don't have toner on hand. Um, but that's it. If you guys like this video, um, subscribe to me. I'm gonna think about doing some baking videos. I bake way better than I do hair. So <laughs> um, if you guys want to see anything specific, um, I you know I Pinterest all of my uh, recipes. I just find them on there and take a crack at it. So if you if that's something that you guys would be interested in, um, leave a comment below, and I will be doing a video regardless on how to make a homemade ice cream cake so stay tuned and see ya